This uh, study is looking at treatments for Dallas grass control, one of our most typical control perennial grasses in, in turf situations. This first plot is the untreated. We have a very heavy stand of, of Dallas grass on this particular plot. I should mention that um, these treatments, most of them have been applied twice. The first set of applications back in July when we had high temperatures and a, a drought situation, so somewhat unfavorable spraying conditions. The second application was a little, little better uh, in terms of spraying conditions. This next plot is manuscript at the high broadcast rate, applied once. You can see still quite a bit of Dallas grass uh, in this plot. This next plot is manuscript at the lower broadcast rate, applied twice. And again, quite a bit of uh, Dallas grass in this plot. This plot, where we're seeing a, a very good Dallas grass control, two applications of MSMA. Uh, MSMA worked well as a you know, contact in the, uh, especially the high temperatures that we had in the first round of applications. So that is MSMA, two applications. The next plot is manuscript at the spot spray rate. Uh, you can see uh, we have reduced the uh, stand of Dallas grass, but still a, a, a fair amount of Dallas grass in this plot. Next plot is Monument. Uh, applied twice. Normally we see a little better suppression of Dallas grass, but again, probably the hot dry weather inhibited the activity of uh, the systemic herbicides in this study. And the last treatment to talk about in this study is Tribute Total, 3.2 ounces per acre applied twice. You can see very significant suppression of Dallas grass. The RC3 growth is coming out of those two applications.